Hello job seekers, Melanie here with CGL Recruiting. And today we're gonna to be talking about artificial intelligence in the job seeking process. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that now. Feel free to follow me on LinkedIn or connect with me, Melanie Woods at CGLRecruiting.com. And if you feel that this information is helpful, give me that thumbs up in the end. Okay, let's talk about artificial intelligence and the job seeking process. Now, I'm not talking about where you're going through and doing applicant tracking systems. The part of artificial intelligence that I'm talking about in the job seeking process today is the part where you think you're talking or texting or emailing with a live person and in the reality, it's an artificial intelligence. And if you haven't hit this yet, um, one, I would say you may have and not even know it. And the other thing is it's coming and it's coming strong. There's a lot of reasons companies are putting this into place. There's a lot of them are saying, oh, it's the cost reasons, it's easier and it gets more consistent message out. As an HR person and as somebody who owns a recruiting firm, I do not like it when a candidate feels that they're talking with someone real and it's a system answering their questions or it's a system that is answering and replying to emails. It's just, it doesn't sit right with me. It's already such an impersonal process and now you're adding another way that you're making this whole job seeking process even more impersonal to the candidates. So I am not a fan of this at all. Now, I, I understand that there is a need for applicant tracking systems. I understand that when you get a thousand people apply to a position in 24 hours, there has to be a way to sort through those individuals to find the ones that actually meet the qualifications. But um, I don't like the other side. How do you know if you've hit one of these systems? Well, there's a couple different ways. A lot of times you will see a actual response that says, my name is Melanie and I'm a virtual assistant. That, when you get that in an email or in a text, it's telling you that it's not a live person you're talking to. But the ones that are a little sneakier, that are not as obvious, usually you can tell them by a couple of phrases. It's going to say things like, how can I help you? Or is there a question that I can answer for you today? It's still gonna come off grammatically very correct as a person would, but it's going to have a very kind of more, um, less emotional feel. Um, so when you do hit these, what do you do? Well, you have to realize that you are talking with a computer. So if you are getting asked questions from a system like this via email or in text, it's the same as when you're working through the rest of the applicant tracking systems. And what I mean by that is more data is more. You need to know that the system is going to try to rule you in or out based on responses that you're giving. So if you're, it's asking you questions about your process engineering experience, you need to make sure that you are pretty verbose in giving back an answer. Now, you have to know that if you get through this uh, artificial intelligence, just like with an applicant tracking system, it is going to eventually be seeing any data that you enter by a live person. So that means you have to have two masters that you're trying to work with here. One is the computer and the other is the person. So the response that you give, don't just throw, uh, you know, 20 lines, sentences of text in there that doesn't flow well. You need to know that eventually any response that you give to that AI hopefully is going to be looked at by a live person, but it needs to be big enough and keyword driven enough that you get past that first system. Now, remember when we're talking with keywords and we're talking with applicant tracking systems and with um, artificial intelligence, generally when these systems are programmed, they're usually not looking at competencies that are soft competencies. They don't generally ask you um, about your communication skills. They tend to be more very hard skill specific. So you need to focus your answers very hard skill specific. 
And now the only exception to this will be sometimes, I, I have actually heard of where they've taken a behavioral based question and placed it in a system for an AI to send you and then gauge your responses. And it will be things like, you know, tell me about a time where you had to deal with a difficult person on a project. And then they're trying to capture soft competencies. That is more the exception than the rule. Most times when you come across these emails or even texts where you're having these conversations and it's an AI, they're gonna be much more focused on the hard skills and the hard competencies. And that's your path to get by them and to that live person. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.